A promising career and a fall from grace. That's how many friends and family are summarizing the life of former NFL player Lawrence Phillips. Good evening, I'm Grecia Aguilar. The family of Phillips held a memorial service for him today in San Dimas. 23 BC's Alicia Patillo was there and has a story. You, you just refused to lose. Lawrence Lamont Phillips came a long way from Little Rock, Arkansas. Phillips was the oldest of two children, and he and his family moved to Inglewood, California by the time he was two. And by age five, Phillips had decided that he wanted to play football professionally. Whatever he stood for, he went all out. He graduated to be a standout talent for the University of Nebraska, winning two NCAA championships and was a first round draft pick for the NFL. However, in 2008, Phillips fell on hard times and was charged for assaulting his former girlfriend and attempting to run over multiple teenagers. Already serving a 31 year sentence, last April, Phillips was then suspected of killing his cellmate at Kern Valley Prison. And following his preliminary hearing earlier this month, a local judge agreed that there was now enough evidence to try him for murder. But in a bizarre twist of events, that same night, Phillips was found unresponsive in his cell and he was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Autopsy results revealed that the cause of his death was suicide. However, those close to Phillips do not believe he took his own life. I feel it's, it's unfortunate. And today his loved one said goodbye to one of the most talented athletes they had ever known. He was a fierce competitor. Those that were there chose only to reflect on the side of Phillips that the world did not know. We're done talking about unrealized uh, potential. Uh, we want to talk about what he did accomplish and celebrate uh, the, all of the good things that he, that he did do. Phillips' body will be laid to rest sometime this week. In San Dimas, Alicia Batillo, 23 ABC. It's been alleged that Phillips' death may have been gang-related and that he was defending himself before he was found unresponsive.